Okay, so I'm sure that many of my students, or even I can say most of all, you don't know or never seen the reddish flower. So this is reddish plant. <coughs> so you can see the underdeveloped roots. So maybe there is something wrong. So root uh, have not developed properly. But I kept two plants so that they were growing the flowers and fruits. So you can see this is the reddish flower eh? reddish flower and you can see this is the reddish fruit so maybe many of you you never seen that the flower and fruits can be grown from the reddish so this is the completely grown flower and fruits from the reddish so this is from the brassicaceae family so the characteristics of the brassicaceae family is uh, they are cruciferous flower, uh, four petals. So, is so far this is called the cruciferous? Looks like a cross, like a, the symbol of plus, cross like. So, this is the flower with four petals. But this is exactly similar with uh, mustard. You know, the mustard wild is prepared from here, canola mustard. So, the mustard flower, mostly the flower color is yellowish and in case of reddish the flower is white so after growing the fruits is very difficult to differentiate with the brassica that is mainly uh, well known for the wild production and uh, secondly they have produced the canola so canola is produced a crossing with uh, mustard and brassica so brassica cabeza uh, like that means the canola that means uh, uh, what is called they are developed from the crossing with cabbage and mustard so you can see the fruit eh? so this is the fruit and inside the fruit the seed after extraction of the seed it is almost impossible that you can differentiate with any other brassicaceae other uh, crops that's all are similar you think about the broccoli think about the cauliflower think about the cabbage think about the turnip think about this uh, Red is there of several colors, uh, some of them are red color, some of them green color, some of them are white color. So the mostly white one is mostly popular and well known, that is the Lobak Puti in Malaysia. So today just uh, my purpose was to introduce with the uh, flower and fruits of Lobak Puti, huh? that means the uh, reddish. Huh? So hopefully you can see that one. Huh? That is for the production of uh, fruit, uh, flower and fruit, you have to leave the plants even after growing the roots, the white root. So you have to leave the plant. So then after a few days you can see the, the inflorescence is coming from there. And there then slowly, slowly they will produce the uh, flower and fruit. So I just gave this to show my students. Eh? So in coming semester we have the plant breeding. So at least I can uh, show them, introduce them with the the flower and fruits of the reddish and uh, if we want to go for the hybridization so we have to use that flower that means before blooming eh? as they are the uh, bisexual so before blooming we have to emasculate we have to remove the pollen that means the anther they have usually uh, six anther so we have to remove the anther then we have to bag it so after that we have to pollinate from the desired male parent we have to collect on the pollen then finally decking bagging all the procedures you have to proceed and finally you have to harvest so this is the if you want to see the entire plants so like that eh? usually they are the fall down because there is no support here so uh, you need to give some support then it will be uh, straightforward eh? this looks nice so this is the uh, reddish flower with fruits e and i have uh, planted in my house in in some boxes I gave some soil and inside that because this outside soil is not good so I have used hair so that's all about the reddish flower fruits